Arenado is 0 for 3 also. And he's hit by a pitch. Hit in the arm. The umpires have not said anything. Again, there were no warnings given. And now here comes James Hoy, and the umpires will talk. They're going to give warnings now. As Arenado's hit by that pitch in the arm. Bryce Harper and Didi Gregorius both hit yesterday. No warnings, John. I, I was worried they were going to throw Hector out of the game. I thought that too. This is the Philly broadcast. We'll do St. Louis in a bit because different perspectives. But the question is, game situation. 3-3 game, bomb of the ninth inning, winning run is now put on base. Is this a situation that really does call for warnings or not? Depends what team you're a fan of. Arenado just took his arm pad off and wore it, went up to the first base bag. And here's Tyler O'Neill. And he takes a split. It's 0-1. Policing themselves. Well, I, 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 I'm not, I don't want to say that was intentional, but. And Mike Schultz just been thrown out of the ball game. What? Like, what's he arguing about? Who knows? You have to know that. Is he violating the mask protocol? I think that they have uh, exceeded the 85% uh, vaccination. So, oh. yeah. He said something to JT Romuto as he went out, and JT smiled and nodded. I don't know what he would be arguing about. So I noticed that, too. Real Muto, the catcher, looked at Schilt and laughed. So it makes me think Schilt said to the umpire, hey, he stole a pitch. He brought that up, got that strike. It was a strike, but Schilt's not happy already because the pitcher hit his guy. It was the first hit batsman of the game. Again, 3-3, bottom of the ninth inning, put the winning run on base. But if you're upset, then you're upset. It was a rather composed argument. Yeah, well, see you next year. So Mike Schilt will... Hand off the lineup card. 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Hector Neris, after hitting Arenado, picks up the strikeout, and that finishes up the ninth inning. All right, let's go to St. Louis, see what their take is. Arenado hit by the pitch. And he knew that was coming eventually. Now the umpires will come together. What do they need to come together for? You're going to get the warnings here. What happened to having just the home plate umpire issuing a warning? The answer to that is MLB change protocol. Plate umpire can't do it single-handedly anymore. Crew has to get together. They're not going to issue a warning for that, though. Here's a problem when you do that, though. You just put the winning run at first base. Uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You also got to protect your best player. Yep. Remember, kids, giving in to anger, getting payback is more important than not putting the winning run on base in a baseball game. That's the other reason why I don't like that can't break up the double play rule either, because if I'm on first base, I'm wanting to break up a double play right here. I also like breaking up double plays Tyler, with two outs. Tyler O'Neal. And by the way, if you're going to pitch carefully to our Arenado with the game on the line to pitch to O'Neal that you can throw yeah. some fastballs away to and make him a deal, go ahead. And that's exactly what they just did. I mean, there's, there's no secret to that. There's some bark in there from the Cardinal dugout. Now Mike Schilt will be ejected and has been. Just watch catcher Real Muto's face as Schilt comes out. Well, you're Hector Neris. You're saying, okay, would I rather pitch to Nolan Arenado with nobody on or get a little retribution and well, deal with uh, Tyler O'Neill? And, uh, and like I said, the only way that that doesn't happen in this game at some point is if the manager goes to Bryce Harper and says, what do you think? And Bryce says, I'm good, I understand. Other than that, you got to take care of him. And I don't even think the manager would go to Bryce. I would think Bryce would end up coming in and saying, hey, Joe, I understand what's going on. I don't feel like that was on purpose. But that doesn't happen a lot. The players are ultra sensitive when it comes to getting hit and hitting the head.
I know I'd want to be protected. Sixth career ejection, first of the season for Mike Schilt. What do you think the umpire's thinking right now? If I warn someone, I get to argue with an umpire or with a manager. If I don't warn them, I get to argue with an umpire or a manager. I can't win. Good summary of the umpire's dilemma. Anyway, 10th inning, this is what happens. Here comes O'Neill. He will score, and the Cardinals win it. A wild pitch, and Tyler O'Neill scores the winning run. It's a final in 10 innings. The Cardinals win it 4 to 3. So that's O'Neill, the last out of the last inning. Runner placed on second. Watch this. The plate umpire is part of the playing field. So when the catcher, yep, yeah, that's exactly what happens on a wild pitch like that. And a very good home stand. Pittsburgh. Wait, didn't Schilt get ejected? Why is he back on the field? Bryce Harper did the same thing back in 2016. He complained about a strike three call during the game, and then after the game was over on a home run, he came back onto the field as part of the celebration, and he said something to the umpire as well. MLB suspended him a game for returning to the field after being ejected. John Gibbons has also received such a suspension. The question is, will Mike Schilt 